first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number one we are going to see introduction about the topic heights and distance so friends heights and distance is one of the most important topic those who are writing for ssc exams and also for railway or uh, uh, some government exams where heights and distance is one of the most important topic right if you are preparing for a bank exam only for the bank exam so heights and distance topic is not needed so friends before solving a question you should know what are all the formulas are there to solve a question in heights and distance and there are some notes right what you need to know what is called as angle of elevation angle of depression so let me see all the four points and then in lesson number two we can solve a basic question lesson number three lesson number four we can solve some of the toughest question so before solving all those questions you need to be strong on the concept so once you are strong in the concept then solving all the question will be so simple right so friends first point is trigonometrical ratios before solving a question you need to learn the trigonometrical ratios which is most important right you need to learn this tabular column tabular column is like tan 60 degree tan 30 degree which we have learned in the schooling itself while we are doing 10th standard or 11th standard in the trigonometry topic we used to learn this what is tan 45 what is sin 60 degree so now you need to learn this tabular column right first point is trigonometrical ratios is important so this tabular column is most important and the second point is right angle triangle so friends solving each and every question in the topic heights and distance it's based only upon the right angle triangle right you need to know the concept of right angle triangle 100 percentage because every time while drawing a diagram by seeing a question definitely a right angle triangle is formed so only by using a right angle triangle we need to solve a question so i think it is also basics right which we have seen in many videos like uh, a right angle triangle definitely one angle will be 90 degree and most important thing if it is a right angle triangle sum of three angles should be equal to 180 degree which is most important listen here if one angle is 90 degree right if it is a right angle triangle one angle will be definitely 90 degree and this angle is 60 degree example i'm saying if one angle is 90 another angle is 60 then definitely this angle will be 30 degree why because only then if you add all the three angles the resultant should be 180 degree so 90 60 plus 30 so resultant will be 180 or otherwise if this angle example i'm saying if this angle is 50 degree then this angle will be 40 degree so got it friends so you need to remember the one of the most important notice sum of three angles of a right angle triangle one two three so sum of three angle should always be equals to 180 degree if it is a right angle triangle then definitely one angle will be 90 degree got it right so next point is you need to learn all the three formulas right what is called as adjacent and what is called as hypotenuse and what is called as opposite some students will used to say this is as a base and this is as a perpendicular it is your wish but you need to learn the formulas perfectly where sine theta is equal to sine theta is equal to opposite divided by adjacent that means opposite divided by adjacent similarly cos theta tan theta so you need to learn all the three formulas if it is cot theta right so totally there are six trigonometric ratio sine cos tan cot cosecant secant so if it is a cot theta you don't want to buy at that because a reciprocal of tan theta will be cot theta right tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent if they ask what is cot theta reciprocal of this adjacent by opposite so you don't want to learn all the six trigonometrical ratio just learn only three what is sine theta what is uh, cos theta and also what is tan theta so friends first of all trigonometrical for the first point trigonometrical ratios you need to buy at the tabular column and second right angle triangle so in a right angle triangle you need to learn all the three formulas and also you need to know what is hypotenuse which area is hypotenuse and which region is opposite and which region is adjacent so remember that adjacent can also be called as a base and similarly opposite can also be called as a perpendicular right and next is sum of three angles of a right angle triangle should be 180 degree and one angle will be definitely 90 degree right so next is angle of elevation and angle of depression so let me move on to point number three and point number four now so point number three is angle of elevation so angle of elevation is nothing but let me take an example assume that a and b is the tower right a tower height is 40 meter for an example i'm saying so height of the tower is 40 meter and the man is standing at point c and this man is looking at top of the tower friends listen carefully from the point c a man looking at 
top of the tower so if the line of sight is increases then it is called as angle of elevation friends got it a man from the point c he is looking at top of the tower with an angle of 45 degree example i am saying with an angle of 60 degree so it is called as angle of elevation angle of depression is same example let me take here is tower which is a 40 meter and listen carefully a man is standing at top of the tower and looking at the object at the bottom friends got it in this case a man standing here and looking at the top of the tower in this case a man is standing at the top of the tower and he is looking at object something at the ground level right which is called as angle of depression right so this is called as an angle of depression this is called as an angle of elevation just to understand the concept you can take like if the line of sight where the line of sight is increases is called as an angle of elevation if the line of sight decreases it's called as an angle of depression and another important thing is angle of elevation should be noted here if it is angle of depression for example a man standing here and looking at the object c with an angle of 30 degree then listen carefully angle of depression always lies outside the triangle friends got it so this point determines angle of elevation but angle of depression should be noted here most important angle of elevation is inside the triangle angle of depression will be outside the triangle got it and the next is it is just a note i am saying right if one angle is 60 degree we already know that it's a right angle triangle then definitely it will be 90 and in the basics just now i have told that sum of three angles should be 180 degree one angle 60 another angle 90 so definitely the last angle will be 30 only then if you add all the three triangles that is all the three angles it will be 180 degree so got it friends next is angle of depression listen carefully the most important concept if the angle of depression is 30 degree then note down that this angle will be 30 degree it's called as a transversal they used to say one concept where the line ac is parallel to bc and another point so it's called as a transversal or something you don't want to learn those concepts right only thing is if angle of elevation is 45 degree assume that if the angle of elevation is 45 degree then what you need to know is this region angle will be 45 degree got it if this angle is 60 degree for example they are saying a man is standing at the top of a building and looking at a car at the ground level with an angle of 60 degree so note 60 degree like this next step is if this angle is 60 degree then the opposite angle this angle will be 60 degree. if this angle is 60 we already know that right angle triangle one angle will be 90 so the remaining will be 30 so sum of three angles of a triangle will be 180 degree so friends got it so the thing you need to learn here is if it is angle of elevation angle lies inside the triangle angle of depression lies outside the triangle once you draw the angle 60 degree here next from this point make an angle of elevation which is 60 degree got it another important note is in this angle of depression and elevation uh, let me do one thing assume that a and b point which is 120 meter is the height then uh, c yes listen carefully friends for an example i have drawn this diagram assume that this is a b and c and at a point c a man is standing at point c and looking at top of the tower with an angle of 45 degree right got it so a man is standing at point c and he is looking at top of the tower and the tower height is 120 meter if they are asking what is the distance between c and b right so what is the distance of c and b in this case listen carefully if the angle is 45 degree right if the angle of elevation is 45 degree then definitely ab is equal to bc which is most important not to make any mistake because you don't want to waste the time in the exam instead of calculating this so if the angle of elevation is 45 degree where opposite and adjacent both the distance are same got it friends most important if angle of elevation is 45 degree if the if the tower height is 120 meter then the adjacent will also be 120 meter if the tree height is 40 meter then the adjacent will also be 40 meter only if the angle is 45 degree so this is the basics to solve the question and heights and distance so only thing is you need to learn the tabular column first of all trigonometrical ratio second is you should know the basics of right angle triangle and then you should know what is called as angle of elevation and what is called as angle of depression if the line of sight increases angle of elevation if the line of sight decreases angle of depression and angle of elevation 
angle will lies inside the triangle angle of depression lies outside the triangle right and uh, sum of three angles of a triangle should be 180 degree and one angle will be definitely 90 degree and this is another important note that if the angle of elevation is 45 degree then the opposite and base distance both are same so friends in lesson number two let me solve some of the basic question in heights and distance lesson number three based on two angle let us elevation two angle based on elevation and two angle based on depression and and then lesson number four let me solve some of the toughest question in lesson number four and lesson number five so thank you so much for watching this video so if you really like it share this video to your friends so that your friends can also learn this bye